Hi there and welcome to the video. So today we're going to be putting some text behind this cat's head and giving it a little bit of a 3D effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is to press T to, for this is the shortcut from my type tool or select it here from the um, toolbar. And I'm just going to click anywhere to start adding some text. And I'm just going to type perfect or whatever you like. It's just my example. I thought it was kind of cute. Now this font is just some chunky font I've been playing with. You can obviously change this to whatever font you like. Um, it, as long as it's quite bold, it will work well normally. And to change the font, you can come down to this button here on the right hand side and click that where you'll be able to change all of your fonts, the colors and everything like that. So talking about colors, in this instance, there's not much color to the image apart from this nice amber yellow color in the cat's eyes. So I think it would be quite nice to sort of bring the text color in alignment with that. It's always good to pick out a, pick out a color from a, a detail in the image and try and synchronize details to that so that you tie things in. So now I've got this window open, I'm just going to click around the cat's eye just to try and pick a color tone similar to, similar to what the cat's eye is. Now it's not really getting the color that I can see there. It's picking too accurate a color and I might want to just actually make this something that's a little more legible on the background by just adjusting it myself. So it gets you in the right area and then you can just make adjustments as you see fit. So there we've got a word, we've got some text in a similar color to um, one we picked from the image. And now we need to cut out the cat. So for this, I'm actually gonna create a duplicate of the background layer. So press Control or Command J to create a duplicate. Um, and I'm just gonna call this uh, cat head because this is what we're gonna have floating above the text in order to um, make the text appear behind. So with that layer selected, I'm gonna press W as a shortcut, which just gets me to any of these three tools here. It doesn't matter which one because we just want the select subject option. So now click the select subject button. It's processing and hopefully it's gonna be able to pick the cat out. Yep, okay, looks like it's gonna do a pretty good job of that. We don't need it to be perfect. So now we can see it's got the image selected. I'm gonna click the layer mask icon to add a layer mask to that layer. Now it doesn't look like it's done anything at first and that's because we've got the solid cat layer beneath it. So if I turn that one off, you can see we've got the cat head sort of cut out with a layer mask. So now what we can do is we can take our text layer, we can drag it between the two layers so we've got the cat head cut out on top and then the text layer in between that and the background. And it'll all make sense when we drag this down now and it's going behind the head of the cat. So obviously if we go below where we cut the cat out, it's going to reappear again. But as long as it's behind that area of the cat head, we're, um, we're actually looking, looking pretty good with this mask. Let me just inspect it a little bit further just to see if we can make it a tiny bit better. Like I said it doesn't have to look perfect. It looks like it's got, see this furry, sorry, this um, fuzzy edge against the ear. Um, and if we press Alt and click on the layer mask, you can see there's just a bit of a soft edge there. I'm just going to manually change that with the brush. So press B for your brush tool. Make sure it's a fairly soft brush. Change the size to something appropriate. And um, with the bl black as your foreground color, you can now mask out that bit manually. So we're just removing that bit from the layer mask. Paint it with black, therefore it's just tidying up that edge a little bit. I'm not worried about the little whiskers and things like that being captured in this particular example, although it's, it's got a few of them. So once you've got your text how you want it, and I'm just going to adjust the color to this and brighten it up a little. I think it went a little bit of a sort of a dirtier color. Yeah, something bright, that's nice. Then obviously you can do whatever you want to it. Um, you've now got this fixed, so you can change the text, you can change the font, and it will change along with the image. But I'm going to put a little 3D effect. So I'm going to double click next to the text layer itself to bring up the layer style. I'm just going to go down to this 3D option at the bottom. And here I'm going to click a, the color for the 3D that's kind of similar to the original color in this instance. I've got a bit longer, I've got a longer video that's just specifically about this whole 3D um, layer style 
effect. So I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So you can go and check that out to get a bit more of an in-depth look at this 3D function. So we can do something like that. We can do whatever we like and we can just click OK. Now, I just want to take it a little bit to the next level, even more, just a little bit more enhanced. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of shadowing on the text itself from the cat. Now, I'm not going to try and get too accurate here. This is just a tiny little a tiny little notion of 3D element. So or giving the impression of like, another, you know, a bit more dimension. So I just created a curves adjustment layer above the text layer. I'm going to hold the alt key and click on the curves adjustment layer, which will clip it to the text. Make sure it only affects the text. And now I'm going to just darken and drag the curve down from the middle. Um, and I'm just kind of almost previewing what how dark the, sh the shadow will be. because I'm going to paint this back in, in a minute and it's looking a bit too orangey and saturated now. So if that happens when you're darkening things with the curve, you can go to the top, the highlight point here in the top right. And you can just drag that straight down and it will darken it a bit more, but it will take some of that saturation away. So you just end up with more of a neutral darker, if you know what I mean. So now we've set that up, I'm going to click on the layer mask and press Control or Command I to invert that layer mask. So we've now effectively got that hidden. And all that means is now if we press B for our brush tool with white as our foreground color, make sure we're yeah. We're nice and soft with the brush. Drop the opacity down maybe to, say, 30% by pressing the 3 on the keyboard. We can now just start to brush just a little bit of subtle shading. Again, we're not trying to be realistic. We're just trying to add a little bit of depth just here and there, around-ish where the cat's head is. Um, don't go too crazy and make it too dark because then it'll just, it'll just um, exaggerate the fact that it's not particularly accurate. But you can see there, it's just giving it a little something, just um, a little extra sense of dimension within that text.